Hello, thank you for joining us. Today we're going to cover the buyer's tour. So I'm going to show you some reports that uh, you can print out ahead of time. I'm going to show you how to set up a listing collection, how to get driving directions for when you're ready to go out on your tour. And then I also have a checklist that I'm going to email you after this webinar is over. Uh, this morning, I'm going to go ahead and remove my video from the screen just so it doesn't get in the way. The first thing you do when you're working with a buyer, start a search for them. Maybe you set up a subscription and they're receiving listings. And then finally, they're ready to go and see properties. So as you can see right here, I have the selected four, and this is from the saved search. So I'm gonna click on my selected four, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna save and save selected as. And what we're doing here is we're gonna save this listing collection. And this is just gonna be the properties that you're gonna go see on the tour. This is also going to be available from your Flex MLS Pro mobile application. So when you're in the field, you're gonna be able to pull this list up. All right, so we're gonna name this Mr. and Mrs. Client. I have my listing collections up here on my home page, and I can access it from there. Now let's say, okay, so I chose these properties. Now let's say they came in with another property that's not in my saved search. So how would I save that to my listing collection? So what I would do is I would come into my menu, and whether they gave me an MLS number or an address, depending, that's how I would add it. So they gave me an address. So I'm going to go into search and address search, and I'm going to go ahead and put in this extra address that they give me of a property that they want to see. So I'm going to add it in here, put the numbers in the house number, and then the street name is going to go here. And I'm going to search for that property. All right, so it's the active listing. I'll select that. And then I'm going to go to Save. Save Selected As. And now I'm going to click in my collection name here to save it. And it's bringing up my collection. So I'm going to save it to my Mr. and Mrs. Client collection. And it's going to add to the collection. I'm not trying to replace the collection, but I am adding to that collection. So let's go ahead and save that. And now I can go up into my listing collections because I have it saved as my favorites. And I can open up this listing collection. And here's our tour. All right, so we ha now have our buyer's tour. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to open up in our map view. And I'm going to, first of all, select these five listings. And then click on your selected five button here. This is how we get our driving directions. Okay, so driving directions, select your listings, click on the selected button, and then go into your map view and select driving directions. View in Google Maps. Okay, so you can see we have a route that it just came up with, and that's because of the arrangement. I'm going to first of all add the point that we're leaving from. So let's say we're leaving from the California Desert Association of Realtors. So it's 44475 Monterey Avenue. This is our starting point. Click on this little pin and drag it up to the top. Okay, so our starting point is our first point. So now you can see we have a route and slide the properties around. We have one property that was in Indio. That was that last one they added. Okay, so we'll leave that last. And let's go ahead and just rearrange these and look at our route and see that looks better. So we're starting at the board, coming up, over, and around, and that looks very chronological. We can see here that it's 30.7 miles and 53 minutes because we are going all the way out to Indio. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use this route. 
what I'm going to do first of all is go down to details and I'm going to text these directions to my cell phone. All right. So when we're going out in the field, I'm going to have these directions on my cell phone and I, I'm a Google user. So if you're not, then you need to uh, sign up for Google so you can get these benefits. I'm going to text it to my cell. All right. So now if I go into my cell, this is going to be texted to me. I just got to click on that and I've got my directions for my tour. I can also copy the link because I'm going to end up emailing this link to my buyer. You're the real estate expert. I just want you to know that this function is available and you might decide that you would like to use this. So I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to, I'm just going to add it in to a Word document. Just paste it right up here. So this is my directions link right up here. Just to save it for use for later. And then also you can print. So I'm going to go ahead and print the directions out. Print including maps. So I'm going to click on this print button up here on the right. You can also put a little note here. So I can put Mr. and Mrs. Client Tour. All right. So I have that at the top of my map. I'm going to click print. And I have um, a setting on my printer where I can save it to a PDF. I'm not sure if you do. Um, if you don't, find out how you can get that uh, set up. Um, so I'm going to save this as a PDF, actually, instead of really printing it. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And then So that has saved my directions where I can go ahead and attach that later to the email to my buyer. I'm going to close this tab. I'm going to close this driving directions tab. Now we're back in our tour. We have our Mr. and Mrs. Client tour that we're in. So what I want to do now is I want to provide a side by side comparison for my buyer. So what it's going to do, it's going to set these properties up side by side so they can look at them, you know, the prices, the amount of bedrooms, the size. And let's show you how we do that. So I have it again, we're in selected. We have our five selected. I'm going to come over to CMA and use selected. And then let's go into this quick CMA and this is going to give us a side by side. And what we're going to select here is a cover page. This is going to have your picture, your logo and all your contact information. We're going to have our side by side comparison of all listings checked. We're not going to sort it by status because we only have active listings. We are not going to have a st statistical summary in here. Um, we do want to select our map and I have a street map view. Okay, we need to come down and we are going to print a report for each property. So if you come in here, you can select the type of report you'd like to provide on each property. Do you want a detail report? Would you like a five photo flyer? We can do it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and select the detail report and print all listings. All right. So then you can download that, which is what I would recommend downloading that. And that way uh, you can provide it as another attachment. You can view it, you can save it, or you can just email it. So these are the options for the quick uh, report. Let's go ahead and download this now, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, so we have our cover sheet. We have the properties are mapped out. 
So we can see the locations of the property, and then we have the legend. And here's our side-by-side -side comparison. So let's have a look at this. So we can see the list price, and you can see if there's any price changes. We can see the bedrooms, the square footage, and here's the price here. And let's go down, and there's the other two properties. So this is nice for them to be able to com compare the different properties. And then we have our detail reports on each property. Okay. Let's go back. So now we've got that saved. We're going to click here, return to search results. So we have our side by side for the buyer and we have our map directions for the buyer. Next, let's go under our detail view. All right. So within our detail view, we have our neighborhood profile tab here. So let's click on our neighborhood profile. And this is provided to um, Flex MLS. It's a realist. So it's one of the uh, one of the vendors that we use to provide some good information right within Flex MLS. So I can get this neighborhood profile. This is good information to provide your buyer. You've got demographics. It tells you how many vacant properties are in the area, owner, rented. You have your household incomes, education levels. It tells you the schools. We have our school ratings. We have elementary, middle, private. It gives you a list of local businesses. This is recreation and attractions. Automotive services, banks, eating and drinking. Farm and ranch. That's interesting. Uh, we have government and public offices, addresses, phone numbers, healthcare services. So this is this is really nice information to provide to your buyer. All right, so let's go ahead and we can print that. And I'm going to go ahead and do a quick print, and then again I would save this to a PDF. Let's go to our market trends report. This is another report you can print out. So we have the blue line is Riverside County. The purple line is Cathedral City or 92334, right? Cathedral City. That's our zip code. So we can see how Cathedral City compares to Riverside County price wise and see what's been happening as far as price trends. Median sales price, MLS. Median sales to original list price. So these are some graphs that you can use. Now you can use these for yourself or if you would like to share these with your sellers, you have the option. Now you know they're here. And go ahead and print and save to PDF. You can also get comparables. So if um, you want to wait um, until the end, you can print comparables off of one address if there's one address that they like. So go in here and print the comparables. So this picked the first one on our list. So we have comps, and this is for. Um, we have our sales price. We have our bedrooms, our lot square footage. Let's see, where's our square footage? Price per square foot. Okay, so here's some comps. So we can generate a report here. We can print this out. And then also we have property details. So you can go through, this is the first property because it was selected. 
and you can get a property detail report which has the tax information for that address. So we can go back and we can print that out for this property. We can go back. Let's go back to this tab up here, our Flex MLS, and let's select the next property. We'll highlight the next property. We can go back into our neighborhood profile. It's going to do one property at a time. So we're back in Realist, and we can go into our property details on our second property. And we can get owner information, tax information, assessments, characteristics of the property, our cell score indicator, which is 782 on this property. So that's high. So that means that this is probably priced well. And here's our estimated value, confidence score, listing information. And here we have our last market sale and our sales history here. You can see the recording dates. It was recorded 2016, before that 2005, 1999. All right, so that's your property detail report. I'm going to go back into Flex MLS. So there's quite a few different reports, and the more information you provide to your buyer, um, they're going to realize that you do care and that you are a professional and you're giving them all the information that they need to make an educated decision about if this is a good property to buy. Um, you know, if they like it, that's one thing. That's like the main thing. But then, you know, there's other facts to look at and to consider. Okay, so that's everything that we need to print out. So the next step is once you've got the properties that they want to see, we're going to go into list view because we need to now contact the agents and set up showing appointments. All right, so I have a, if you notice over here, all right, so I'm going to go into our normal view. So I have, this is normally when you're looking at your listings within list view right here, list button. This is normally the fields that you're going to see. Our status price, address, property type, listing agent area, subdivision. I've set up a special view for my listing collections and I named it listing collection. So I have uh, showing access remarks right here. I have private remarks here. Then I have the listing agent. So if you you have your uh, property set up, this is your listing collection, and you can click on the listing agent. First of all, you see the notes. You need a 24-hour notice on this one. So let's click on this listing agent. So I do have all his information. So I can go ahead, pick up the phone right here. I can be looking at the notes about the showing access. And I can actually go in right here and schedule a showing if I'd like to use that method. So I can come in here and I'm going to say, um, I want to show this property next Monday at 9 a.m. And I can um, put in a message, please confirm. And then I can send this request. It's going to go right to the agent. All right, so let's go to the next property. We'll click on the agent's link. And I have his phone number. I have an email address that I can email the PED form to. So you can schedule a showing. And then also just note, you can send showing feedback. So when you come back after your tour, if you'd like to provide showing feedback, which is very much appreciated uh, when you have a listing. So you can just come in here and easily just go through this list and send some showing feedback to the agent, like put the date in that you showed it, your observations, the interest level of your buyer, and what your buyer's feedback was. Um, 
this is really good information for listing agents to pass along to their sellers. And it is very much appreciated between agents. All right, I have a question. All right, Stephanie, um, can you show me again what I click on to get that? Uh, Stephanie, I'm going to go ahead and unmute you. Hi. <laughs> Hi, let me turn you up here. I'm embarrassed. I was writing notes. <laughs> yeah, you said you wanted to know what to click on to get that, but I wasn't sure what the, that was. So I, go ahead. It's the listing agent. So I click on listing agent. And that's that's gonna, that will bring up all the information as to the who the agent is and all. Okay, there right. you go. And then from there, that was what yeah. I wasn't sure what it was. Okay. Oh, okay. Pretty obvious. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thanks for asking the question. And let's this see. This is great, by the way. This is I'm. This is wonderful. I'm a very new realtor, and so this is just great information for me because I actually have some clients that are coming from the East Coast, and I need to get this is um this is your timing on this. A seminar could not have been better. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling very good. Like I'm going to be a real professional. This is fabulous. So and then I'm going to send you that checklist too. So you'll have it. And then you'll also have my email address. So once I send you that checklist, if you have any questions when you're getting set up for your um, buyer that's coming in, just shoot me an email or give me a call. Okay. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Send showing feedback to the listing agent. You know, if you can do this, please do. Uh, it just helps so much, tremendously. Send open house feedback. We're not having open houses so much these days, but when we open back up and have open houses, you can send open house feedback also. You can also contact an agent from here. I'll show you what that looks like. So you can just send a little email message while you're in here. So uh, again, if you would um, click, hover over these gray lines here, you can also open up these fields. I don't know if you guys know how to customize your view. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly. I also do have another video about adding columns to your view, but I'm just gonna show you here how you can do that. Because I know this is a big thing with agents, you're looking and you're viewing your search results, but you would like to see some other information that is not here. So these are your viewing templates over here. There are some inherent ones that come stock with Flex, and those are the ones that have the asterisk. So they have some set up. So favorite view that has an asterisk. So let's look at what that one is. Let's see what the favorite view has. It has a status change date in it, but I don't really see anything else that's that great in there. So let me just go back. All right, so let's show you how to add in some of those custom fields. So this is the inherent field or view that you're probably viewing your listings in. So let's go into this view button here and we're going to add some more fields to this view. Click on view and we're going to go ahead into this general tab here and we're going to name it residential listing collection all right so now it only allows so many letters but that's fine so all right so i've under the general tab i'm naming this my listing collection so that way when i'm looking at listing collections i'm going to go ahead and select that view all right so these are the fields this is where we add fields so i'm going to go ahead and type in showing access all right, did our showing access come up over here? Here we go. So I'm going to click on this heading that says showing access. And let's go to our columns over here on the right. And they always go to the bottom. So here it is at the bottom. I can click on this up and down arrow. And when it turns into this four way arrow, that means I'm ready to drag. I'm going to drag it all the way up to the top, showing access. Next, let's add private remarks. Those are all the remarks between agents. Private remarks, here we go. So click on private remarks. Go down to the bottom of your column list. And we're going to drag this up. All right, let's... Let's see, I think the listing agent is in here. Yep, 
here's the listing agent. I'm going to drag the listing agent up under remarks. And I think I can get rid of some of these fields, like the property type. I can get rid of that. I'll keep the subtype. The area, I can get rid of the area. I'm keeping the subdivision. I'll keep the city, square feet, beds, baths. We have our pool. I'm going to drag the pool field. Well, I'll leave it there. Lot size, I'm going to get rid of that. Your built, days on market, I'm going to pull up. And then we're going to save. All right. So now when I'm viewing my listing collection, and I'm just going to go out here and go back in so you can see how this works. I'm clicking on my listing collection up here. Um, if you don't have it up here, just go under menu. And under search, you can click on listing collection. And to add your um, fields up here, just hover over the star and turn the star like yellow and it adds it up there. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to start over and I'm going to click on my listing collections. So you can see how this process works. Click on Mr. and Mrs. Client. Here's our listing collection. And let's go ahead and view it from the one we just saved, which is this one here. All right, so that's how you create your own. I'm going to just going to adjust these columns. And then again, Click on the agent, and this is going to make it so much easier for you. So you just go down this list right here. It, you know, normally I think you might just go into detail, and then you're going to be cert looking down here for all the information. So just from your list view, click on the agent, and up comes their business card. A lot easier, and it's got the links. Okay. All right, so that is our custom viewing template. Um, and then at this point, this is where we're going to be setting up our showing appointments, confirming. Once you get everything confirmed, you're going to go into zip forms and get your PEADV form. And I'm sure you all know that if you're showing multiple properties, you can just put all the addresses at the top of their form. So there is a stacked area up there. So you can just type all five addresses um, and then send it out for your buyer signature and then go ahead. Um, and then you'll have to email that to each one of these agents. So let's see here. So that's another thing we can do from here. So you can, from this list, you have the link to this agent's email. So I can go and click here, and then hopefully this is all gonna work. You're gonna select your email that you're gonna use, and hopefully um, you can email all of these right from this area also. So it just keeps you kind of tight, zoomed in, focused on exactly what you're doing. All right, so you've got your appointments scheduled. You're taking care of the PED form. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is uh, we are going to uh, get our email set up to our buyer. So what I, what I would like you to do, this is the checklist I'm going to be sending you. So it has all your instructions here. So I guess you could circle these when you do, when you're doing it and going through here. So save your listing collection, get your driving directions, Email the directions to yourself. Copy the link in the buyer's email template. Um, sort properties and flex the same as the driving directions. Oh, okay. So that's one thing that I forgot to go over. I'm glad I'm going through this list. So we want to sort the properties in our listing collection. So they show up and they're the same as our driving directions, if that makes sense to you. So let me go back and let's go into our detail view. 
Okay. I have my driving directions in this, in this packet I put together. We have Pueblo Trail, First, Sky Blue Water, Garner. Okay. You're in your detail view and you have your property selected. Well, once you see these little arrows, this means you can drag and drop these in whatever order that you want them in. So we had our Pueblo Trail was the first property in our driving directions. So let's go ahead and pull that up to the top. Then we had, sorry, then we had uh, Sky Blue Water, or we had Garner, Sky Blue Water, this Indio one was last, and Pamela. Okay, so now we have this order here. And that's, uh, that's the order we, we're going to want them to show up um, because it goes along with our driving directions and everything else we printed. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and save this. Save collection. So it's saving this. All right. Now I'd like to show you what this is going to look like um, in your phone while you're out in the field. So another thing we want to do, uh, this is also on the list, is we're going to text the tour to our buyer. So once we get everything scheduled and we know it's a go, um, you're going to create an email to your buyer and then we're going to text them the tour. So here's our driving directions. That's going to be a link in the email. All right. So when you're out in the field, open up your Flex MLS Pro. That's your mobile app. Your listing collections are found right in these file folders here. So click on the file folders and then select Mr. and Mrs. Client. Select the listing collection and they'll just pop up. All right, so when you're out in the field, if you need to find out any information on a listing, like if they ask you a question about something, just click on the property. You've got them right here on your mobile phone and you can scroll through the listing and get any information. All right, so we want to. So what we want to do is we want to text this list to our buyer. Of course, we want to show them that we are tech savvy. So, you know, it's very easy to text this from your, your phone to their phone. How convenient for them is that if you can text it to them? All right. So what you're going to do. All right. You open up the listing collection and then you're going to hit this share button at the top. The next thing you're going to do is go down to the more button. It's at the bottom. It says email, text, or more. Go to more. And then scroll down. There's a whole list of different ways you can share. So what you want to do is go down to messages. There's also messenger in there. That's the Facebook messenger. Go down to messages. It's going to take you right into your contacts on your phone. So if your client's in here, just go ahead and select them. Otherwise, type their number up here. So you select the contact and you're going to say, OK, the uh, listing collection is going to go in and you're going to hit send. And it's going to look like this. It's going to show the picture of the first one. And then here's the link. So that's, um, this is the Flex MLS Pro mobile app. There's also a Flex MLS mobile app, and that's for the consumer. That's for your clients. So be sure that the logo looks like this when you're downloading Flex MLS Pro mobile application. And that's from, uh, that's from your app store. So they have it for Android and iOS. I also have a, brochure. If you're not a uh, Flex MLS Pro mobile app user, uh, I do have a little brochure here I could send you. I'll just go ahead and send it out. It tells you what you can do with the Flex MLS Pro app. And then 
if you would like to know more about how to use the uh, Flex MLS mobile applications, just go into the Help button up here in Flex. And we have video training, user guides. So you can just search all these different help options within this help menu. There's, um, there's great um, manuals, videos, all kinds of stuff. Um, so I would recommend that you go in there, spend a little time, invest in yourself, um, and just, you know, work on your skills and using these applications and all the, I know there's a tons of stuff available out there for you. So you're just going to have to pick and choose and, you know, what works best for you. Everything I'm showing you today is from my point of view. It's, I'm just showing you different tools and ways you can do things. You're going to adapt it into your own style and what works for you. So what you're going to want to do is set up an email to your client and you're going to want to um, attach the different documents that we made up. So let's take a look at those documents right now. So I have an Adobe Acro Acrobat program. So I was able to combine all the different PDFs that I saved into one document. Um, if you don't have that, it's not a big deal. You can just go ahead and attach all those documents separately as separate attachments. It doesn't matter either way. You know, I like to use the programs I have. So I come, I combined. This is my side by side. This is the first one we did. It's the CMA, the quick CMA. So we, it had the cover sheet. Uh, let's see what else. Let's just go through the documents that we have here. All right. So here is the side by side. That's our quick CMA. Then we had our detail reports. That's part of that quick CMA. We have our driving directions. Um, so when we went to print them, I saved them as a PDF, if you remember. So they'll get a copy of the driving directions. Uh, this is the demographic report or the neighborhood report. We already went through that, so I'm just going to go through this quickly. This is the comps. So this was uh, the one for the first property. I think it was, yeah, here we go. 32659 Sky Blue Water Trail. Here's the subject property and then the comps you can see around it on this map. And this is part of that realist tab within your detail view. So let's look at this. We have our sale price, price per square foot, high, low, median. These are the comps. Here's the recording dates. These closed in 2020. That's good. 2019. These are good here, 2020. Also, I believe uh, we did have the option in when we were in Realist to pick and choose which comps we wanted to use. So just so you know that, um, I kind of just went quickly through that because of our time. But uh, yeah, you can pick and choose your comps. Those are all the um, reports we downloaded. This is a, this is that quick CMA. It's a side by side. But on this one, I chose to print flyers instead of the detail report. So just so you can see what that looks like. This is the CDAR five photo flyer that I chose for this report. So this is what it would look like. So they could have a flyer for each property instead of the detail. Whatever you want to do. All right. So let's go back to our list, our checklist. Okay. I have some questions I'm going to go take. So the realist comps are based on one property. Yes. As an example, the buyer's favorite of the five listings. Correct. So you can save that comp part until you're done with your tour. And if they say, hey, I really like property one, property three. So then you would go in there, you know, pull up your listing collection, go into that neighborhood and print out the comps for those two favorite properties. And at that point, go ahead and email them those reports. Great question. Thank you. Do you find combining the PDFs into one document too large to email? Uh, no. Let me see if I can look at the file and see how big that file is. All right. So here's the file. And let me see if I can look at properties. All right. It is one megabyte so it's small 
So there is not going to be a problem e emailing that file. Thank you for the question. We have nine minutes left. Uh, does anyone have any more questions? I will keep going through our checklist here. Oh, one other thing I want to recommend to you. I'm going to try to find it on this list. Composing the email to the buyer. Here's what I'm going to recommend to you. I'm going to recommend that you get a Word document and you type out this email to your clients, but then you save this as your uh, tour template. Um, and if you're savvy with emailing and you know how to set up templates within your email, just add it into your email templates. But what I'm getting at is copy, paste, copy, paste. Do whatever you can to make your process easier. So type out the list. You're going to give them, um, so you're going to be sending them kind of like an extensive email. You're going to tell them what you've included. Here's the link for the driving directions. So you don't want to have to type this out every time you're working with buyers. So what I'm recommending is grab your, grab your email, get a Word doc, type this in, and then go ahead and save it. And we're going to save this as our tour email. And then just put it somewhere where you can find it again. And then uh, the next buyer you work with, you're going to copy this, control C, go into your email, and paste it in. And then, of course, you're going to detail it. You know, you'll have a new map, so you'll go ahead, delete that. Delete those my uh, driving directions, add your new driving directions, and go ahead and tailor this to your new buyer. But it just saves you time. Um, it helps you to be more organized and time efficient. So um, that's just my recommendation is to have a email template already saved. All right, so we're coming to the end of our time. I'm open for any more questions. From within Flex MLS, you can go to Menu, and you can access Realist. So under Taxes, you can access Realist here. Just found some more questions in the chat. Okay, so I use Buyer's Tour in Cloud CMA. Do you see this more of an advantage? It does have more detail options. Uh, Brandon, thank you for the question. You'll have to look and compare each one. I'm sure they're similar. Whatever's easier for you to use. I know we have a lot of options available out there. So use what's easiest for you and what works best for you. Okay, be safe. Thanks for coming. <music>